How's it going, everybody? Uh, I just want to start off, first of all, by saying I'm sorry I haven't been updating any of my training, what's been going on in my life, everything like that. I'm going to try to do that a little more going forward. Uh, it's been so hectic, uh, work, getting the Airbnbs, everything lined up. I kind of got a little bit, a little bit calmed down now, just a few things I need to do and concentrate on working and obviously working and training working out and training. So that's what I'm gonna be doing going forward. I'm gonna to try to at least get one, maybe two videos out a week on some of my thoughts on some of the things coming up, um, uh, how my training's been going, whatnot. Everything's been going really, really good. Uh, as for training aspect, considering how busy I am, I've still been able to get a bunch of training in on the road, uh, at home, in between jobs, and everything else that I'm doing. I haven't been getting, be able to get as much table time as I've liked, but uh, other than that, it's been been really good. I can't really ask for much more considering everything I have on the go right now. Uh, last match I just had in Krazy, it was awesome. Really good to finally grip up with them. I've been wanting to grip up with them for ages. I'm not sure if it was the best Krazy we've seen. Hopefully, whatever is going on with them, he gets figured out and uh, he comes back bigger, stronger. I hope to see more of him in the future. But this video is more just a quick little update. I've had a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of people have been messaging me, asking me about how the hair has come along. And honestly, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty fucking happy with the results thus far. It's only been four and a half, maybe five months, something like that. They say it takes six months, even a full year before you can see the full results. Uh, with what I had to work with on the back of my head for pulling the hairs to the front. Uh, there wasn't a whole shitload of really, really healthy, strong, strong hairs there. Uh, so the job that United Care did, honestly, fucking absolutely fantastic. As you can see, I got a pretty definite hairline. Uh, I don't need to like previously in the past when I do my hair, throw a little bit of gel in there, I'd have to perfectly spread it out because there'd be so many fucking bald spots, especially right up in this area. And I just throw a little bit in, I'm actually able to start using gel now. So if you're, if you're out there looking for stocks, purchase some in the gel industry, stocks are about to go up. So, but yeah, no, the hair, honestly, been going really good. People have been asking me uh, if I've been taking my finasteride. I have been as, often as I can remember. Uh, I'd say I'm taking average of works out to about one pill every two days. Uh, I think it's one milligram or whatever prescribed me to go with it. Uh, what it is, is a DHT blocker. DHT, males produce a lot of it with their testosterone and the DHT is actually what causes us to lose our hair. So it's a bit of a DHT blocker. Some side effects they say are a kill in your lumbido. I can vouch for that for sure that has not happened to me yet um so but yeah uh, the finasteride seems to be going good i haven't noticed really any side effects uh no complaints thus far so the hair really coming in i'll add a link down below anybody interested in getting a hair transplant you're thinking about it contemplating your wife's fucking nagging you honey you're getting a little thin better get her fucking done i definitely look into united care united hair care in istanbul they did fantastic fucking job for me uh, many people were saying that it was going to be super painful for the last couple of weeks after you get it done honestly i didn't really feel anything it honestly felt like i had dipped the top of my head and waxed because of the scar tissue obviously when i moved this a bit everything kind of moved together because it was all a scar uh, didn't experience any headaches no swelling in the eyes or the face or anything like that like people were saying you'd you'd end up getting uh the only bit of irritation i had would have been about Six, seven days in when the cap scabs on the top because the whole top of the head was kind of a scab uh, Started to flake dry peel off a little bit. Obviously pretty standard It's gonna get a little itchy for about the following month to a month and a half It was a little sensitive because it was all Fresh new skin up top. I had to be a little careful around the Sun You can really feel the heat if I did get into the Sun, but other than that everything's pretty much been growing. They say majority of it ends up falling out within the first, like as soon as the procedure is done, it takes sometimes six months before those hairs start to come back. And honestly, like, I don't know how much I've lost, but if this is all I end up having, I'm pretty fucking happy with this considering what it was before. So yeah, definitely I'll add the link down below United Care in the description. 
take a look at them if you're ever considering, ever thought about it. And honestly, I just feel, I, I do, I feel that much better about myself just knowing that I have a fuller head of hair anyways. It's not quite full, full, but for me, it's fuller, right? It's the fullest it's been in a long, long time. So yeah, take a look at them if you're ever curious. This is a quick little update. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have a few more videos coming out on my training, upcoming matches, events, everything else, my thoughts on some of them. Maybe I'll give you guys a sneak peek at uh, what I've been busy doing, getting uh, my hot tub in this place, the other place, a little story for you guys. If uh, you're ever looking at purchasing a hot tub, especially in Central Alberta, buyer beware, and uh, someone that you should definitely look into. Uh, so yeah, a few more videos gonna be coming out. I'm gonna try to be a little more consistent with them, guys. So uh, apologies, apologies, life gets in the way. But uh, yeah, pull hard, I'll see you guys soon. All right.